what is to be understood by morality and virtue. Morality The actual fulfillment of the values of duty, obedience, law, custom, tradition, and regulation is to be understood by morality, in which case the basic components of moral modes of behavior comes first and foremost. In former times, the human being has related morality to the Bible, consequently the religions and sects claimed iniquitously and still do that the advent of morality was their doing. However, this corresponds to a sheer self-serving religious sectarian law, because the basic impulses of morality have been pre-given to human beings since time immemorial by the creation of natural laws and recommendations. Hence they slumber in him or her and need only to be awakened, perceived, worked upon and put into practice in life by him or her. Immanuel Kant came somewhat close to the truth, but without fathoming the actual truth, because he explained that an imaginary and supposed God which indeed effectively does not exist is not the originator of the morality of the human being but that it is the human being himself or herself who must try to solve the questions of morality with the help of his or her intellect. The term morality goes back to the Latin word moralis which actually means custom and the like. A custom is a human way of behaving, that is to say a mode of behavior in the form of a convention slash practice. Morality describes primarily deeds which the individual human being or the society expects of fellow human beings, and it should ensure that the human being displays a certain morality as well as correct behavior. Morality corresponds to the opposite of evil deeds and modes of behavior, therefore in this case good morality is spoken of primarily if the human being expresses it through modes of behavior of the human being which generally are viewed and assessed as right, good as well as fair actions. If, for example, one helps to settle or mediate a conflict between human beings peacefully and without gavolt, then this corresponds to a morally good deed and attitude. Morality finds its truthly origin in the deep inner nature of the human being himself or herself, and namely as explained in impulses of creation or natural laws and recommendations. These impulses find expression by conscious or by unconscious and undetermined thoughts and feelings, which as anxiety, loathing or hatred are evaluated as bad, evil morality as well as joy, elation and love, and so on as good morality. Morality, however, depends fundamentally on the family and on education, as well as on society, being the sum of the values and perception on which it is based and which are deemed correct by human beings, without, however, being able to give particular reasons for it. That which is deemed to be right, is considered morally good and impeccable whereas the moral values well and truly differ from human being to human being, from family, people, community, society as well as from religion to religion and sect to sect, consequently enormous differences exist. Morality can therefore relate to the customs of a community, society, an organization, religion or sect, as well as to the deeds, pronunciations, actions and modes of behavior of an individual person. The sphere of morality, precisely everything that deals with the moral actions and the entire moral modes of behavior, is referred to by another term, ethics. Ethics is the actual teaching of morality, in the same way as biology is the teaching of the forms of life. Virtues In the life of the human being of the present time, the virtues lag behind all the good and correct modes of behavior, just as the good and healthy morals have lagged behind for decades. And even with regard to the virtues, today it is no longer understood what values they actually embody. Virtues are very diverse and can be defined and explained as follows the term. Virtue corresponds to a verbal abstraction and is derived from to be good for, therefore from a verb which has the basic meaning of suitable, to be useful and to benefit. 
Already more than 1,000 years ago the virtues were designated as usefulness and power, and then later also as heroic action and proficiency. Then in the Middle Ages a change of meaning was made, by which the term was construed specifically as having a moral meaning and thus without the originator of this direction of meaning having any knowledge of the creation or natural ethical impulses manifesting themselves in the human being to a moral mode of behavior. This new moral direction of behavior stood against the licentiousness and wickedness as well as against everything corresponding to that which was objectionable, flash offensive, wrong and incorrect, and so on, which in this why the Christian religion in particular made to its own and claimed to be the originator of moral values. This use of the term morality quickly then came into use which through the Christian religion and the morality theology, chastery was then also included in the term of morality, but this only corresponded to a sanctimoniousness that has been maintained to the present day, especially when considering the priestly and clerical sexual assaults on children and women, which again and again give rise to religious distancing and ironic as well as marking pronouncement. Since ancient times, virtue has also been used to describe the capability of a human being in relation to the fulfilling of his or her special tasks, as well as the suitability with which a matter can be carried out. Virtue is also extended to animals and other creatures, as well as to an appendage or limb, in relation to the purpose for which it is to serve. Thus, in relation to the virtues, the suitability and excellence as well as the outstandingness are also taken into consideration. Originally, manliness was also considered a virtue, and especially with regard to military valor. Thus, in earlier times, the term virtue was a designation for different characteristics that were considered desirable within the frame of social and moral values. From the Middle Ages onwards, Four classic fundamental virtues were and continue to be considered particularly valuable, namely the so-called cardinal virtues of fairness, discernment slash wisdom, moderation and fortitude. Plato's theory for the fundamental virtues gave direction to the entire virtue moral theory, while for Aristotle virtue was the way to let the life turn out well, namely according to the fact that life then succeeds when the human being actualizes slash fulfills the possibilities which fundamentally exist in him or her. Though Aristotle already surmised the moral capabilities in the deep inner nature of the human being, even if he did not know anything yet with regard to their impulses, which are pre-given in the human being through the creational natural laws and recommendations. With regard to the virtues, the Christian religion on the one hand rightly refers to the ten recommendations of the Bible, on the other hand also to the values that Emmanuel supposedly called Jesus Christ has taught, thus simply the benevolence, peaceableness, the fairness, readiness to help, charity and the mildness, which indeed is rightful, since Emmanuel has indeed actually taught these virtues. However, as it cannot be otherwise with a religion, Naturally also the purity of heart and praying, fasting, the belief and the submissiveness, hope and love were invented in sectarian form as heavenly beatitude, and declared in such a way even as virtues, which contradicts however the reality, because such beatitudes, or virtues, correspond to pure Christian religious sectarian inventions, in order to bind the human beings misleadingly to a prescribed belief. Thus, such supposed virtues have absolutely nothing to do with real moral values, but solely and exclusively with religious and sectarian-based misguidances and lies. Now, there are still more virtues than those mentioned so far, because in the course of time, namely for more than 1,000 years, additional values have been added, such as integrity, the diligence, the faithfulness, the benevolence, the patience, equanimity and adherence to the truth, 
the understanding, nurturing of the goodness and the humaneness, the showing of honor, peaceableness and dignity, as well as the courageous strength, that is to say the strength of will, the uprightness, honesty and modesty, fortitude, attentiveness, level-headedness, steadiness as well as discipline. In addition, decency, peacefulness, heedfulness, sincerity, perseverance, prudence, honorableness, equity slash sportsmanship and conscientiousness, magnanimousness, loyalty, as well as love for the next one, openness, decisiveness, righteousness, autonomy, objectivity, self-control, sense of order, self-determination, chivalrousness and solidarity are also considered virtues. Tolerance, satisfaction, steadfastness, warmth, responsibility, reliability, independence, intellect and rationality as well as discreetness and wisdom are also named as virtues. Also, the dedication to a good cause, the gratitude as well as the trust, the forgiveness and constructive interhuman relationships are considered virtues, as well as the avoidance of lies. Lastly, yet, the frugality and neatness are called virtues, as well as the saying thank you and the politeness, although these two values actually correspond to only one virtue each, if they are honestly meant and effectively include in an honest wise thanks and politeness, that is to say do not simply correspond to a habit of thanks and politeness, without their value really being given. Also considered virtues are the cleanliness and the punctuality and a good, correct social and economic conformity, which have found admittance into the thought feeling as well as deeds and action-based modes of behavior of the human being. Simeace Silver Star Center, December 5, 2013, 102 Ambili. Virtue. Virtue corresponds to an ethical power that is directed toward leading one's life in a correct and righteous wise, as well as in a wise that is irreproachable and good. Simiasse Silver Star Center, December 21, 2013, 1204 M. Billy.